Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Let's end the week with some information. Continuing the topic of the week, about the power of your souls. I would like to touch on a subject that I imagine many people, if they haven't thought about it, will start to think about. And it may be that some even had doubts, but were afraid to ask. So it is very important information. I'm going to talk about spiritual masters again. I affirm to you that your spiritual masters have been with you since the creation of your souls. I also told you that the vast majority here are old souls, old souls, who come from far away and who came to this planet. Many here have ascended masters as their spiritual master. No one stopped to think that, as a being who was incarnated like you, could be your master. I will give Sananda himself as an example. The answer is very easy and very simple, no soul becomes a master because they want to, that is the soul's journey. You are multidimensional beings. So it doesn't matter, that the fractal of his master's soul was incarnated, he would continue to be your master, because those who guide you are superior dimensions, not third dimensions. So they are souls, who were already quite evolved but who incarnated on the planet to help in the process of evolution of the planet itself. But they were not essentially souls from Tercera. They are souls who come from far away and who have already had an important evolutionary journey. Yes, they ascended, as you will ascend now. They simply no longer wanted to return to their earthly incarnations, so they ascended, passed to higher dimensions. But they were always bigger than the third dimension. So there is no need to have any doubts. There is no doubt that the fractal of Sananda's soul lived together with many of you, for a long time. Nothing strange, you are not souls from Tercera either, the vast majority here. So, fractals meeting. Only that. Many remain, I would even say, desperate, because they cannot access their master. Let's put it this way, each of you is a soul, and like a soul, each one has a journey, each one has a point of evolution. So I can tell you that, I won't go so far as to say that 100%, but the vast majority of souls that are here and that are ready to ascend, because they are involved souls, do not have fractals in fifth. The majority. Some do, because that fifth fractal was not able to evolve. And as I already said, what will happen when you ascend? You've already asked me this question. The fractals will merge. The piece of your soul will be unique. The one that is there and the one that is coming from here, from the third dimension. How will you light up incarnate, what could this reverberate in you at the moment of ascension? You may have a period of extreme torpor, a drowsiness that forces you to relax, so that their souls can merge and remain connected to the same body, being just one, that fifth fractal. I can't say that you won't gain bonuses from this, because you will have a little more knowledge of that soul that was already there. About what it would be like to live on that plane, in that dimension. So it won't be bad for anyone. It is clear that those who will evolve from here to fifth, and who do not have a fractal in fifth, it is not that they will not have knowledge, of course they will, because their souls are already more evolved. There are souls here, who are already in the eleventh, 12th dimensions. So of course at the time of ascension, you will be upgraded to live in that dimension, and you will receive all the knowledge of the higher dimensions. This is right. So if anyone had any doubts regarding the ascended masters, I'm answering them now. And continuing what I was saying. Why are many unable to see their masters? It's like I said, everyone has a journey. Many, despite wanting it very much, saying they are ready, still have fear in their hearts. They don't feel completely ready for battle. So that's what I said here previously, anyone who feels this way should not participate in anything. Continue your journey the way you have been doing, it is not to stop, it is not to give up, it is not to feel inferior. None of that. You just haven't reached the point where you believe 100% that you are capable of doing anything. So the fact that the master does not communicate, does not appear, is what you are emanating. Don't be afraid to see it, it's not that. It's fear of what will come ahead, deep down you are very afraid. 
There are times when you feel like giving up, because you think you won't be able to handle what you have to go through. So as long as this fear persists, the master will not approach. And I'm going to tell you something very important here, don't try to fool yourself, because you won't fool me. When I profile my army, with those who are ready for battle, I will know exactly each one of you who does not have his master, who does not know him, who has not known him, and I will not allow you to participate. So don't try to fool yourself and don't try to fool me, because it won't help, you won't participate. So I can tell you, those who haven't managed it yet, that you have to do an inner analysis. Where is the fear you are feeling? Why are you feeling afraid? Really, that's what I already told you, you have to trust 100%. Always look at the image I created for you. You are on top of a building and this building falls. And if you trust, you will say, nothing will happen to me. And nothing will happen to you. No matter if the world around you falls apart, you will be protected, because you trusted. So those who can't see the master are because they don't trust 100% in the protection they have. They are afraid and I will not judge them. Don't think of yourself as weak or inferior, you just haven't managed to work on all that feeling inside yet. So start. There is still time for you to ask your own master for help, even if you don't know who he is, to help you eliminate fear, to eliminate all those feelings that prevent you from moving forward. Of wearing his armor and being there in the front platoon, for battle. My brothers, I've said it here many times and I'll say it again, don't compare yourselves to anyone. Those who really see, those who really experience the situations, do not show off. He is grateful for everything he sees, he is grateful for everything he dreams, he is grateful for everything he experiences. But don't just brag about everything that happens. For what? To show yourself superior to others? To show that you have more strength? To show that you are more prepared than others? So my brothers, don't trust everything they say, because a lot of it is fantasy. So don't compare yourself to anyone. Each of you is a soul, with a walk. It is not by showing off that you will evolve, on the contrary, there is a very strong feeling of pride, which has to be fought. So just be you each one of you. Want to talk? Talk to me, tell me what you experienced, imagine that I am next to you listening to your entire explanation. Then you'll say, hey, but you know. It doesn't matter. I want you to see me there, in that moment as a friend you are counting on, and if you have any doubts, as you tell me, I will clear them up. And you will understand everything you went through, or lived, or felt, or dreamed of. Do not look to others for the solution to your doubts. Look in the right place, where someone can really help you. Not just telling you what you understand and often confusing your minds. Because everyone understands the things they see, the things they dream, the things they feel in a way. Some of you notice the presence of stellar beings in some part of your body. They like to make themselves present this way. Are they all in the same place? No, then one says, no, I receive a contact in my left ear, then the other says, but mine is on my arm. Ah, so it's not the same being. Look at the wrong conclusion you had. Each one, they choose a place to tell you, I'm here by your side. So, my brothers, don't base your journey on anyone else's journey. Of course, you can often count, if you feel good about commenting very well comment, but don't get carried away by the comments. Because comments will often come that throw you off track. You will have doubts about what you felt, or dreamed, or lived. And will it do you any good? You will begin to have a lot of past life information. Many are already having it. Has everyone felt this the same way? Of course. Some have a more advanced third eye and see on the mental screen, others dream others simply see. So who is right? Who is wrong? Who is weaker? Who is inferior? Who is superior? There's no answer for that. Each one is what they are, each one will have their point of removing the veils. 
How many veils do you have? How many incarnations do you have? The more incarnations on the planet, the more veils you have. So those who have been here for a long time may take longer, because there is a lot to be dissolved. Because each incarnation, a veil was placed. Those who are the most recent on the planet are having the fastest journey, because there are fewer veils. So I ask you, what is the superior soul? The one who has been here for millennia living all this drama of the third dimension, or the one who arrived less than a century ago? Is there any way to consider this, is there any way to respond to this? No, there isn't. Because each one had a mission. Why did that soul choose to stay here on the planet for so long? Why did the other one only arrive now? Does not have an answer. Each soul is different, it is a different journey. So don't compare yourselves. Many of you diminish yourself because you see others telling you so much and you think, and why am I nothing? And with this you take away even more of your strength, because you feel inferior. So please, don't base yourself on anyone's journey, because there you could be listening to the truth, or a lot of fantasy. This is what is dangerous, what many understand, and they understand everything wrong. There is still this problem too, because many receive information and misrepresent everything. Because their minds try to transform everything they received into things they understand. Then you misrepresent everything that was said, you understand everything wrong. So, are you going to let yourself be carried away by this? Take care, each of you, of your journey. There's no need to show off. You don't need to keep telling us about your experiences. Just comment, ah, I had a lucid dream. It was good. I had access to past lives. Done, it's over. That's if you want to comment, because you have a big tongue. They love gossip, they can't keep quiet. Everything that is yours, you have to spread. And then, putting it in a large group, even better, because more people know about it. Really, this way of yours is very interesting. Because you know what happens with that? You receive all sorts of energy. You receive good energy from those who applaud your success, and you receive bad energy, from those who envy you, who are angry, because you are going through something that he cannot. For what? Why go through that? And then you don't understand, because so many things in your lives go wrong. Look at the amount of connections you make. Unnecessarily. But you like it. The more people watching your life the better. And you guys love showing off your life. Interesting. That's very interesting. And have you ever imagined, what is the big advantage of this? Exacerbate pride, show that you are happy. Is this necessary? Does everyone like to see your happiness? Are you wanting to demonstrate that you are happy 100% of the time? Or do you also want to show happiness that you don't have? In other words, Many bad feelings are involved, in an extreme need to show off. And I extend this to all senses, including what happens in your spiritual life. Think about it. What are you trying to convey? Just the joy of having lived that moment? Or a certain taste for showing off, in front of so many other people? This is not a good feeling, I promise you that. What is the name? Superiority. I'm not going to say that everyone when they comment thinks that way. Some just, it's pure joy. But there is a good majority, who like to appear superior, look at what I went through. Look what I've experienced. Look what I've already done. Interesting. Is that all? Is that really all it is? I don't know. Think about it. So what I mean by all of this is that each of you will be living, in a different way in these times. Many evolving quickly, and many at a standstill. Why have? Fear. And as long as they are afraid, they will not move forward. Not in this sense. You can maintain the path of evolution towards the fifth, there is no problem. But in the sense of seeing your gifts and powers appear, there you are walking, at a snail's pace. While the rest are moving at a cheetah's pace. 
so, think about it. I repeat, ask your master, even if you don't know who he is. Help me eliminate all the fear I have, of moving forward. And he will definitely help you. The master is there next to you, you just don't know who he is. So my brothers, this is the point now. Let's overcome another barrier. Let's say we are going to enter a new time. It's as if you were exposed to a new reality, a little uglier than the one you are living. Because now, it's the last chance for everyone. So the journey of those coming behind will be heavy, very heavy. Anyone who has walked the walk here with me, many of you know very well what you went through, and it wasn't easy. But you have come this far, they fell, they got up, they fell, they got up, often. They are here today, ready, sword in hand, in the front squad. They realized everything they had to live through. And those who come now? It's as if you have lived, 1000 days, and those who will arrive now will have to live in one day. In other words, they will have to strip themselves of everything they bring, in a much shorter time compared to you. So it won't be easy. For them mainly, and for you, who will see a lot and will have to digest it all, and continue with your head held high. The phase that will begin now is the most difficult. And this is where you will have to effectively prove that you trust. So that's what I said, each of you is where you need to be. It doesn't matter what happens next to you, it matters where you are. And if you trust, the world around you will fall and you will remain standing. Don't try to understand the how. The how is not your problem. You have to trust that and have no doubt. Never suspect that it won't work. Know how to welcome the brothers who will arrive, and they will come eager for help. So be protected, always. From the 30th, which is where a new phase begins, be sure to wear your armor, my cloak, your violet clothes, sword on your belt, every day when you get up. Then I don't want them to come and tell me that they are being attacked. Because whoever does everything I'm guiding will go through everything easily. Just follow what I'm saying. Receive those who will come with doubts, welcome those who will come asking for help, but know how to separate the wheat from the chaff. That's where things get complicated. But I can tell you, you will know. And if you are ready, with your heart vibrating and all the protections in place, nothing will shake you. And you will do your part, will fulfill part of its mission, because your mission now is one, to evolve. Along with this mission, there is a small mission, which is to bring as many brothers as possible to this journey, so that we can evolve as many people as possible into the fifth dimension. So you also have a mission to fulfill. Don't worry, you won't need to chase anyone. They will come. After all, you are pillars of light. So in the dark, everyone will see you. So you don't need to chase it. People will come to you. So be ready. To conclude today's video, I will warn you in advance, we will not do the meditation at the time established by most. It's a complicated time, where I know many won't participate, as it's early in the morning, and in this case, they would do it later with the time shift. So we will all do it together, shifting time. The strength will be much greater. So I'm scheduling our meditation, in our group, live, on the 29th, at 11 p.m. I think it's a reasonable time. For those who go early in the morning, then yes, make sure you travel around your schedule. No problem. It is important that there are as many people as possible at the same time. Of course, those who will move later will join this group. But I want to be with you, at the same moment and not later. Then we will be together at 11 p.m., and we will do the turning meditation, for a new phase. And we will definitely be ready. Get ready my warriors. The battle will begin. I am Archangel Michael. I am here, next to each one of you. I will guide you into the light, I will guide you into the fifth dimension. So, there is nothing to fear.